Today I'm super excited to uh, get my bees. I'm getting a nucleus, so basically four frames uh, brood and one frame honey. I'll be getting my bees from my dad. He, he's been doing my uh, beekeeping for about 30 years and we are actually doing a series on this. If you wanted to start your own beehive with me, you could. Uh, just don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so you don't miss any new videos. It is very important to know how to take care of your bees throughout the whole year so that your bees don't die. If you have any questions for my dad, he would love to answer them. Make sure you scroll all the way down to the comment section and leave your question there. There's a couple different things I wanted to show you before you get your bees. And the first thing that you want to do is make sure that your bottom, the bottom of your beehive is attached to your bottom deep super. Another thing that you want to do with your beehive before you leave to get your bees is close these holes. This is the foam that goes underneath the carpet. So after you put your five frames in, just you can put a small nail beside the frame so that your frames don't move around while you're transporting your beehive and because when they move around they can um, they can fall and break the wax you're ready to go just came to my dad's land I'm about to get some bees from him you could probably see him in the background he has tons of beehives I'll put on my coat <laughs> dad's backyard uh, bees he has over 20 families here and he's about to give me one family hi everybody this is first queen we're looking right here from nest and uh, if, if you bought uh, nuclear you must look in queen and look in frames and brood and bees you looking like this how many bees right here it's very very fine bees and if you to buy this queen uh, package nucleus you must look in always queen okay. very good queen and have too many broods if you to buy bees you must look in right here very good closet brood and too many bees open brood warm right here right Let's here we have in open brood eggs warm and closet right now we put inside this is frames and have brood, queen, we, we look before and you, you, this queen, it's very, very good. A little bit nectar and, and honey because this is springtime and cold area right here, nectar this side, bipolen a little bit this side right here, bipolen nectar, honey and nectar and bipolen this side, it is bipolen and honey a little bit. And this side too. Weather outside different, sometimes cold, sometimes because if you bought a nuclear right here, you must put sugar syrup always. Not forgot, first week or second week if cold outside, you must put sugar syrup. Why put sugar syrup? Because needed eat for honeybees. Right here we have uh, frames. How will be put? This is wax foundation put side because too many bees and young bees uh, doing wax and doing special comb comb doing and put right here. As we we know we queen inside right here. Take out these nails because no needed temporarily we put right here. It's next one. 
See, closet brood. It's it's brood closet inside. It's much better if you have every frames and closet brood. Right here too, around this closet brood and bees uh, doing warm this for brood. Brood uh, go after this, after 10 days, you will have, uh, if you bought five frames, after 10, 12 day maximum, if close it today, 12 day maximum, uh, you, you'll be have 10 frames. 10 frames, bees must be grow. Number three, very good looks too. And this is open brood. Open brood right here. Top one closet right here. And uh, right here open brood. We have eggs and sometimes warm. This family, this side uh, closet brood. Everybody, too many bees do, doing heater for this as brood. Brood have same temperature like people uh, body. It's very too many bees because for this family we can put inside one more wax foundation. If not too many bees, you cannot put inside wax foundation. Same idea. Bees too many. You see too many bees, it's fine. If you bought not too many bees, family will be grow too. This brood too. See brood closet and closet right here brood. Very good five frames nucleus. Very very good. Ten frames. Of bees? Ten frames bees you'll be family have after ten days. Mostly more moving. Okay, four frames brood and one frames and most of it stay in honey and nectar. Bees stay top, no, no pressing bees, little bit smoking. And better to buy uh, evening or cold day. Cold day too many bees sits inside, you see too many bees sits inside and this family very fast grow. Everybody go inside, next steps. Next steps, close it right here. Oh. Right now, it uh, will be close it. If you not close it, bees fly and put stinger for you, you're not happy. Right now, we everything close it. Little bit uh, small nails. And moving inside car. Okay, ready, we bought 10 frames, frames no moving, closet enter, most of it, bottom uh, we have nails, top we have nails, no, no out. If you bought this, you must uh, plan in ventilation, open top one, or because if we stay inside too, too hot, most of the problem, if, or most of you have outside mm, not too much high temperature, not, not hot. Yeah. Right now, ready, we can pick up like this. Look how eager, look how eager they are to get out. It's actually really warm. So I'm about to let them out. This, this is a young bee. Mm -hmm. Young bee? Mm -hmm. Flying out for the first time and trying to 
get to know the area and figure out <laughs> where they're at. At the beginning you don't need a second deep super just yet because the family is still growing on the other five frames. But once the family grows bigger, you can put the second deep super with 10 frames in it. So the reason you feed them for the first seven days is because when bees are transported to a new area, it may take a while for them to get to know the new area. At first they won't know where to get the honey. And if you bought mostly young bees, they may need some time to fully develop before they can start looking for honey. If you don't feed them, your bees can starve to death. It is very important to feed them for at least seven days. If it's cold outside, your bees don't fly and can't bring honey for themselves. You may need to feed the sugar syrup longer than seven days. After you get your bees, it's very important to feed them with sugar syrup for seven days straight, especially if it's cold outside to give them a really nice start. It's very easy to make. All you need is a a quart size jar and fill it up half with water and then the other half you fill it up with sugar and I use uh, pure cane sugar so after you after you add your sugar make sure you mix the whole thing so half sugar and half water and you just mix it After you mix it, you put on a lid that has holes in it. And the holes are the, you use the same nails that you use to make your frames. They're very really tiny holes. And then you just put the lid on top, tightly. And then what happens is you flip it over, you'll have a little bit of water come out, but because of that va uh, vacuum, it will hold um, the rest of it. And the bees actually have a very long tongue they will basically take the sugar syrup through these holes and I'm about to go feed my bees so they don't die it's recommended to feed your bees uh, towards the evening and all the bees are inside already you can come up really close look it's so warm oh my gosh they're like whoa Whoa, that's a bunch of bees right there. Yeah, it's so warm, it's so warm. They, they keep a certain temperature wow. in there for the brood. They're very excited about the sugar syrup. So you're supposed to feed them every single day for about seven days. And you just refill the jar as needed. They use a good family usually eats up the whole jar right away. Like a strong family eats up the whole jar in one day. We will check them three days from now to see if they start making the comb. Um, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so you don't miss any new videos. So last night I gave them sugar syrup. Let's see if they ate anything. Whoa, the whole thing is gone this morning. They ate everything. Must be a really nice strong family.